So you're the moderate, restrained, advice-giving partner in this relationship? Not all the time. Can you name a time when you've had to pull him back? That's that client attorney <laughs> privilege. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever the hell that thing is. I would cook him breakfast every day for the one um, Buick Open you were doing. I was like, I'd, get, I'd have some eggs made for him, this, that, and the other. Oh, thanks, bub. Are you got any Diet Coke? <laughs> it's, it's like three, three Diet Cokes. And I'm like, I actually almost won that one. How many do you drink a day, Diet Cokes? Not as many as Daddy Trump. My God, I thought I could drink them, but man, he can drink them. He's unbelievable. He does put them away. Yeah. I used to put them away. I used to have about 20, 22 of them a day. 22 Diet Cokes a day? Yeah. So you're getting all your hydration from Diet Coke? Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why I did you probably outlast a camel when it comes if I have to drink water? I can't mm-hmm. stand water. Yeah, I know what you mean. I hate it. <laughs> See what I'm dealing with here? <laughs> no, but when, when I drink, you know, my Diet Coke, there's ice in there. There's water in there. 100%. Plenty of water. So why'd you pull back? I don't know. I just don't drink as many. I'm, I drink a lot of these now, so it's... Right, because it there's no vodka in Diet Coke. Right. Well, yeah. unless you pour some <laughs> in there. But... <laughs> did, did, did your doctor, like, how many... How many Diet Cokes can you drink a day and still He don't want live? me drinking any. Really? Yeah. Is it bad for you? For bladder, yeah. I mean, Trump's like seven, in his 70s. Yeah, but he smokes cigarettes, so he kind of balances it out. Exactly. It's totally right. Well, <laughs> nicotine and caffeine equal protein, Tucker. You know? I've actually proven that. <laughs> <laughs> that is totally true. I meant to ask you when we talked earlier. You were talking about your heroes on the tour, other golfers you admire. Is, is there anyone you don't like? Bernard Langer. I love Bernard. He's a great guy. He just kicks my ass. I just always that. give him shit because he always wins all the tournaments. Let's put it, me and Curtis Strange never got along. What's he like? He just wasn't nice to me. He just wasn't a nice guy to me. Who would not be nice to you? Yeah, why? The nicest, he's the nicest know. guy you've ever met. I was, a rookie, I was a rookie and he just didn't like rookies. He just didn't like me. Then I win the PJ 91 and I stole his caddy at the 91 Skins game. Really? Bootsy. What'd she look like? She's pretty hot. No. <laughs> <laughs> No, Boatsy was, we won the British Open together in 95. He came for me a long time and he passed away. God, it was brutal what he went through. He got robbed and they beat him up. Next thing I know, he was in a wheelchair and, and he just, I don't know, he got dementia or something. It was sad. From the beating he took? Yeah. Uh, Where God, was he robbed? God bless him. At his house in Jacksonville and uh, all the flag. He won, a, he won two US Opens with Curtis, won a few tournaments with me. But all his Ryder Cup stuff, all his flags he took off the poles when he went. See, a caddy will take the flag off the yep. pole when they win. And the pro will sign it. And, um, but, yeah, he... Let me try one of those. They, uh... You know, these are... No, no. And they, it all um, got stolen? Stolen, robbed him, and beat the living hell out of him. It was sad. And killed him in the end. Raped his wife. I mean, it was sad. Did they ever get caught? I don't think so. Oh, that's horrifying. Oh. By the time Bruce Way to lighten the mood, Johnny. Well, <laughs> <laughs> sorry. But, but What's it, the it, worst it, crime you've ever read about? Oh, boy. One I'm fixing to commit, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no. Damn, that's awful. Yeah. Bruce so that's Edwards. the caddy you stole from Strange. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Huh. Did your relationship ever get better with him? Not really, no. He just, you know, I'm still waiting for an apology. Where is he? Who cares? Yeah. <laughs> so you never kind of warmed up to him? Look, I can get along with anybody. Yeah, I can tell. He just didn't like me for some reason. Oh, hey, look at here. Go to johndailyshop.com, folks. And get you a John Daly torch lighter. Look at that thing. We got the little little lighters. My that, favorite. That's a Richard Pryor lighter right there. This is the one you like right it's here. Like, hey, if that's you want the one. crack cocaine I was for about dessert. To... <laughs> here, dessert. that's the one you like. That's you like the good. Zip Creme brulee and crack cocaine. Creme brulee, yeah. <laughs> so when you guys go in public, how does it work? We just walk in like we're just in your... That's what I love about him. Yeah. He doesn't act like Kid Rock. He acts like Bobby. He's just a friend. We go out to eat. People come up a little bit, but they, most people respect our space, you know? People are always like, I love your security guard. He's cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's what they call me, the security guard. Yeah. Have you ever had to hold groupies at bay? Oh, there's been a few, huh? <laughs> a 
guys. They're everywhere. Where were you 15 years ago? <laughs> <laughs> are there a lot of groupies in the PGA Tour? Oh, my God, yeah. What, how are golf groupies different from it's rock and roll groupies? Probably the same. I mean... You think so? Yeah, they're all trying to tag on to somebody that's got... Think they got money or has money or whatever. Yeah. But, you know... I, I don't partake in... Um, that lifestyle. I didn't either. Are there are there still groupies in rock and roll, or is there too too much? I mean, at this stage that? of the game, you're kind of like put them away. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah well, it's the <laughs> stage in your game, of course. <laughs> but 15 years ago, like talking, pull them up, pull them up, take your pants off, do no, it. No, but all. is that still a thing, or did Me Too stop all that? I I don't know. I'm in and out when I play. <clears throat> no, I I, uh, well, I get in your case, but I mean like guys who were. 32. Yeah, why wouldn't there be? Because, you know, know, I think, um, I think honestly, like over the years, it's gotten a kind of, I mean, how could you do anything in this day and age? Yeah. You know, in terms of, I call it having fun. Right. Like whenever we did wild stuff back in the day, like there was no victims. Everybody wanted to have fun. Right. It was just rock and roll. You know, it was just that and the other. And, you know, I always made it a point myself and with other people, it's like, if there was wild stuff happening, like let's treat everybody very kind. Right. Very nice. There's no reason to be mean. Of course. Especially in a situation that's weird. Right. You know? So the weird Nobody was trying to hang out and do those things when I, when I was like playing for 50 people in Cleveland, Ohio. <laughs> you know? It's, I don't know. I kind of feel bad for the younger generation because it seems like it was, it was kind of looking back and I would think that everybody involved with, with that, with all the madness that was going on was having a good time. Right. You know, we always had a strict policy. It's like, hey, you don't mess with somebody's girlfriend or wife. Like, there's just certain things that are just way out of bounds, you know? Yes. But everybody wants to have a good time, especially when you're young. Like, but there's just a right and a wrong way to do it. You know what I mean? Nowadays, you see kids, it's like, you know, I think they're scared to go up and tell a girl, you know, like, hey, you're pretty. No, they'll text them. They're like, ah, oh, you raped me. You're like, whoa, <laughs> whoa, I just <laughs> told you you were pretty. <laughs> Right, so I mean, there's not, you can't really have like not with a Led Zeppelin I'm, tour. I've, I've been out of the game. It's the phones, you know. You know, back in the day, you didn't have phones. You could. Have well, life phones. has turned into a picture. It has. It's nothing it's but a picture, into, you a video. Know. And you, don't go, you don't looking, go anywhere. People are always don't go looking anywhere. Anywhere. Don't go with you and me, him, and they're always looking to get us doing something wrong because that makes the news. Yeah. But if we, you know, give a kid a hundred bucks for selling golf balls and buy all his balls. And now you keep them selling. That never gets out anymore. No, of course you know? not.